Hello Taurus, I hope you had a beautiful relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Taurus? Universe, please step in your very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Taurus in their life? And how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Taurus, what's popping? Oof. So there's some kind of dispute between uh, people in a group that is affecting you negatively, whether it's at your work, in a family, neighborhood, circle of friends, and you're trying to figure out how to deal with these people that are feuding. But it's a feud fight of serious nature because this is five of swords, not five of wands. So it's serious and you're trying to figure out how to be not affected negatively uh, by these people yeah, who are not getting along. Yeah. Currently, you view yourself as single, available, not in a relationship with anyone. Wow, you know how to deal with these people. Whoever these people are, you know how to deal with them. You know them well, yeah. It's like group of people that you have to deal with on a regular basis. So it could be uh, your family, could be your work. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, my goodness, you really don't want to reconcile with these people because you know that if you trust them again, they're going to bring you more drama. You already know, yeah, you already know that you cannot allow them come back to you and involve you, drag you, drag you into their uh, gossip circles. Yeah, you don't want to participate in their drama. Yeah, and this is you protecting yourself. <clears throat> Honestly, these people like feuding, they like arguing, they like bickering, they like complaining, uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, these are people that really, uh, you know how to deal with already, you have experience with these people, you know how to deal with them correctly, you know, please show us, hmm, What's coming up for Taurus in their life? And how is Taurus currently doing on their summit journey? Ooh. Yeah. You see this? Yeah. Be careful because uh, these people love drama. Yeah, they love drama. And they're going to blame you for things you didn't do or say if you allow them. Yeah, you're tired. This is how you feel. So not only did they... Uh, do they deceive each other and betray each other? They betray you as well behind your back. Yeah. This is you letting go of toxic people. Hey, you know how to deal with them. Yes, you do. Your soulmate wants to make amends with you. You're meeting new people. Yeah, people of quality through some kind of social gatherings, parties, outings, celebrations. You also are celebrating or will be celebrating something to do with money, finances, job, business. You're going to be celebrating. Be careful because some of these people are capable of affecting you negatively financially, setting you back financially. So remember, you're not the bank. You're not to be giving out loans because you're not the bank. Yeah. People are responsible for their own financial karma and their spending habits. Mm -hmm. 
Universe, please show us. Don't let people use you financially. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Taurus? How is Taurus currently doing? Ooh, it's at your job. So for most of you, it's at your job. But there's some of you that's also going on in your family. You see this? Uh, so these people are fighting for power at your job. Uh, wherever it is you work, they're fighting for power. Uh, they're trying to set each other up for failure, get each other written up, fired. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, stay away from gossip circles. Do not participate. Do not take sides. Yeah, the good thing is you see very clearly how to deal with these people. You have experience. My goodness. They already put you through a lot. You have experience. You know how to deal with them. You see very clearly who's authentic, who's not authentic. You see very clearly what's going on. Yeah, you see somebody's deceiving you on purpose. This is betrayal, lies, deception, shady behavior. Somebody is trying to betray you, uh, lie to you, manipulate you. Uh, but you see very clearly, you see, it looks like you're not aware of everything. But guess what? The sun, the best card in the whole deck will shed light and you will see the truth. So somebody's trying to manipulate your light to you, deceive you, which they are doing. They're going to be discovered. You're going to see very clearly who it is and what they're doing or saying. My goodness. Look how beautiful your energy is. You are a pro at what you do. This is you financially abundant, independent. Do not let people use you financially because some people feel you're doing better financially than they are and that they are entitled to your money. No, they're not entitled to your money. Yeah, they need to make their own money, right? Yeah. Um, it's amazing how people think they are just entitled. <laughs> Based on what? Um, this is you doing very well for yourself. Figuring out how to maneuver financially. Yeah, financial stability, success. You're going to be celebrating something to do with finances, accomplishments that have to do with finances. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus. How is Taurus currently doing? Yeah, you're not getting involved. You still love your soulmate. Yeah, but you don't feel this reconciliation is happening anytime soon. You're silent. You're not communicating with them. You're not telling them how you feel. Some changes showing up here at Chejabo Business. You worry too much about uh, what's going on in your job. Remember, you're not responsible for other people's behavior. Yeah. Only worry about things that you can change and change them. The person you're letting go of, uh, that still shows that you love still, um, is very worried. Uh, they want to see you. They want to reconnect with you. They feel guilt, regret. Let's see what's going on with this soulmate. Wow, you're dealing with a lot, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus that Taurus is letting go of at this time. And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus? And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? They want to communicate with you so badly. Unexpected communication. This is them trying to be brave. Trying to figure out if it's not too late. Yeah. This is them wanting to rush back towards you with communication of importance to them. This person has been in and out of your life. They haven't been consistent in your life. This is them feeling extremely connected with you emotionally, spiritually. Very strong connection. They feel that they need to prove themselves to you. Yeah, this person feels that they've made mistakes, that they regret, and they lost you because of it. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus that Taurus is letting go of, and how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, 
yeah, this is them concentrating on uh, getting their finances in order. Oh, this person is trying not to be emotionally affected. They want to rush back towards you. Yeah, they want to communicate with you to clear the air between you two. They feel that there's a lot that they need to explain. Uh, yeah, this person is trying to be very brave because the chariot is showing up twice. <clears throat> they have very hard time initiating communication, expressing emotions, uh, showing emotional vulnerability. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that Taurus is letting go of. They determined to approach you. Very determined. Yeah, this was a serious relationship. This means apologies, peace offerings, but they're wondering, is it too late? Look how much they miss you, but they're trying not to be emotionally influenced by this, but they are. They feel deep emotions. They just don't show them. They, this person is in love with you. Yeah, this person is totally in love with you, but not really expressing. It's like they hide behind this uh, king of swords persona. They feel deep love, deep emotions for you, but they're not expressing it at this time. Hmm. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus. And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? especially emotionally. Yeah, this person wants to find... Ooh, so they feel a lot of... You see, this is in the subconscious position. They feel a lot of joy, love, and they also feel a lot of heartbreak. You see this? This person's devastated, heartbroken over losing you. Devastated, but they hide their feelings really well. So if you were to look at them from the outside, you would think they're doing just fine. But really, they hide their feelings well. Yeah, reconciliation is on their mind, but they're wondering, is it too late? So this was a serious relationship, wasn't it? Yeah, whether you were married, engaged, planning to be married, living together, this was something serious, not a frivolous connection. This is them being devastated that they lost you. Not sure if this is going to continue or if it's truly the end. Taurus, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate entering your life that showed up as three of cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life. Yeah, the three of cups energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it. At the end of the reading as well so taurus click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys yeah new love dawning for you remember virgo um also a lot of you are dealing with the virgo a lot of you are letting go of virgo energy no matter what sign they are this person is wanting to make amends with you but it's up to you uh, and your free will what you decide to do yeah whether you decide to give it another chance another try new soulmate a chance be alone for a while yeah it's up to you so taurus i'll see you there love you guys